Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. Hi, I'm Tom Kearns, and I'm here at the Grafton Peace Pagoda. It's a beautiful Buddhist monument up in the mountains of New York State. And I'm here because May is the time that we celebrate the birth of the Buddha. The Buddha taught us how to live in peace, how to be kind and generous with one another, and how to alleviate the suffering of this world. And that's why we honor his birthday in May. Now, May is going to be a very special month with a lot of nice aspects, and here is what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Mercury conjuncts Uranus on May 1st. Gemini, the month begins with curious Mercury conjunct unpredictable Uranus in your 12th house of limitations. Now, this may open your subconscious mind to unusual dreams and energy. You connect to a deep well of intuition and imagination that can bring a new dimension of spirituality into your life. Mercury conjunct Uranus can be hard to handle if you don't control your, emotion, your emotions, but they will empower your imagination. So it's time to leave negative experiences behind. Saturn turns retrograde on May 11th. Saturn retrograde is always a time for review. And when it's retrograde in your ninth house, you must learn from your personal experiences if what, have you, what you have been taught is true and valid. You may question your religion, philosophy, and even science. If you think you have all the answers, you are wrong. <laughs> Life is a wonderful school with many adventures and possibilities, but without real purpose, you'll get lost. So focus yourself. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Jupiter turns retrograde on May 14th. Jupiter goes retrograde in your eighth house of sex and the psychic. Woohoo! Take time to reevaluate what you've been doing for the past few months. This is a house of change and potential growth. You've had the opportunity to strengthen yourself and deepen the bonds that you've had emotionally and materially with other people. Now you must integrate the needs of other people with your own so you can feel more secure. Do not misuse any power that you have gained. Mercury conjuncts Venus on May 22nd. Gemini, the conjunction of Mercury and Venus in your first house of projection will be helpful in all types of personal expression. This is a good time to combine your intellectual and your emotional abilities. If you do so, you can win over the hearts and minds of others. You have a certain gentle caring about you that can be extremely healing for those who are in need of a little compassion. Mars sextiles Uranus on May 25th. Gemini. The pace picks up with an exciting Mars-Uranus sextile. Mars in your 10th house of status stimulates your ambition and your drive for success. You want recognition, but you must discipline yourself to get it. <laughs> Radiate self-confidence and you will attract new opportunities. The lively sextile to Uranus in your 12th house of limitations may bring an unexpected spiritual experience or a prophetic dream. Overcome your fears and a new life can begin. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please 
subscribe to my channel and share these all these videos with your friends because they are free isn't that a great thing <laughs> and if you'd like to know more about your own personal horoscope go to my website professorastrology.com go to the readings page and there you can order a chart based on your time date and place of birth and you can get a transit chart that'll tell you what's coming for the next 12 months again i'd like to thank you for watching i'd like to thank you for listening and i hope you have a very great month